Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Arch with Imran. I'm Imran, and today we're going to be doing another Photoshop tutorial. I'm going to be showing you how I do shadows, reflections, and highlights, and there'll be timestamps in the video description, so make sure to check it out. Let's get into it. Okay, so here we are in one of my recent submissions. Now I'll put a card to how I did this and I have made a few changes since the video, but it's essentially the same. Now, here we have the ch this child down here. I'm gonna zoom in. Now, we want to select this child and we wanna add a shadow. So what we're gonna do is first, we're gonna select the, the layer and we're gonna hold it down with the left click and drag it onto the new layer icon. Now this will duplicate the image. We're gonna rename it. and I've just put shadow so we know. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna double click on this and this will open the layer styles. And I'm gonna go on to color overlay and change it to black. I'm also going to drag it below the layer. So the girl is on top. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna, first we need to rasterize it. So I'm gonna go right click and I'm gonna go rasterize layer. What this will do is it will mean it's no longer a smart object and it's now a bitmap. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit control and T this will give us the free transform. And now we want it to be going in the direction of the sun. So what we're gonna do is you're gonna hold down control or command, and we're gonna click each point and you'll see we can physically warp the image. Now we're gonna do it to the other side as well. And there you go. Now, what you want to do is you wanna do this based on wherever the sun is in your image. Remember, every time you wanna edit it, you hit control. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna play with it until it looks right. So I'm quite happy with this, but obviously it's really defined. So first we're gonna turn the opacity down a little bit. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go filter, blur, and we're gonna pick Gaussian blur. Now keep in mind, what Gaussian blur is it just simply blurs it in all directions. But if you have a shadow that's closer, the shadow will be bigger and more defined. So it will need more blur than a shadow further back. That's because the shadows further back will be smaller and the effect of the blur will show up much stronger because they're smaller. So we're just gonna play with this until it looks about right. The only time you would have really sharp shadows is if the sun is directly on them and it's some kind of silhouette or sunset or something where there is loads of light. Realistically, a lot of the sun is diffused through the clouds and just through the sky. So they tend to be a bit blurred. I personally like to have it slightly hazy, but not too strong. I'm pretty happy with this, and I'm just gonna play with the opacity again until it looks good. And there you go. Okay, so now the next thing we're gonna look at is we're gonna look at reflections. Again, it's a really similar process to shadow, but we're gonna go through it. So I wanna do this pram on the right. What I'm gonna do is again, we're gonna select the layer and we're gonna duplicate it. So again, hold down left click and drag it over the new layer icon. Now we have a duplicate. This time we're not gonna be doing color overlay, we're simply gonna be editing it. So again, we're gonna rasterize it. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit Control T and do the exact same thing we did before. You're gonna hit Control on the corners and we're gonna resize it and play with it until we're happy. So I'll just quickly do that and I'll see you guys in a minute. So I'm really happy with this. Now, the thing with reflections is it's a, it's a very subtle detail. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn the opacity right down because I don't want it to be too attention drawing. So I think this looks really nice. And what, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna erase some of the image just so it looks more natural. And there you go, I, I think that looks really good. And now we're gonna do the final step, which is highlights. Okay, so we're now gonna do the reflections. I've turned off the window glaze um, that I already had just to show you guys what it looks like without it. Now, it's really important to constantly look at where the sun is hitting in these kind of renders, because that's what can make and break it. We're gonna make a new layer, 
and I'm going to be using the magnetic lasso tool. So I've already established the sun is behind the camera, so I'm going to do a shadow on a, a highlight on this side of the window. I'm going to be using the magnetic lasso tool, third down. If you don't have it, hold down the left click and you'll get this pop up. We're going to pick a diagonal line from about here to here, just matching the shadow I've already done. And there you go. You just click at each point and it will form. So we're going to hit D, that will default our palette, and we're going to go control backspace to fill with background. Now, beautiful. What we're going to do is we're going to hit control D, this will deselect our selection, and we're going to just turn the opacity down a bit so we can work out where to delete where these lines are. So we're just going to do the same. Using the lasso tool, I'm going to draw over these points and I'm just going to delete them from the image. So once I've got my first selection, we're going to just hit delete. And you'll see it will delete the white area. Now I'm going to continue with the rest of these and I'll come back to you guys. Okay, now I've done these really quickly and you guys will obviously spend more time. But once we have this, we simply just use the opacity. And there you go. That is how I do my highlights. Okay guys, hopefully you found that helpful. This again was another request. So if you have any more, please leave them in the description. I'll see what I can do. Thanks for making it at the end of the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment, and hit that notification bell. And I'll catch you guys in another one.